I would like to hand over to Leah's script for the first chapter, the introduction. But at first I want to, to highlight an experimental feature. It means uh, we have created the content of this course in English, but we have also this feature um, to apply Google Translation. It's quite experimental at the moment. But if you use this, and for example, translate this to, let's say, Russian, everything gets actually translated. Also, the voice. С помощью Lia Script вы попытались реализовать расширенный формат Markdown, который должен позволить каждому. Есть несколько проблем, которые мы видим в настоящее время при создании открыт. Well, it takes some time, probably uh, by responsive voice, which is a great service, by the way, um, to read this out loud. But it's just a way of presenting the same content uh, to a variance or to a different audience with different uh, in different languages and tongues. So, but now, again. With, Le with Lea script, we try to implement an extended markdown format that should enable everyone to create, share, adapt, translate, or correct online courses without the need of being a web developer. We believe that a language-based approach, instead of a tooling-centered one, provides more flexibility, freedom of creativity, and sustainability. Therefore, we try to develop a simplistic syntax that extends the static markdown with quizzes, animations, spoken text, automated visualization, ASCII art, and much more. Everything has been woven around markdown, so that the content can still be read and interpreted with any kind of editor or markdown interpreter. There are a couple of problems that we currently see in the creation of open educational resources. OA. One of them is isolation. That means people who want to create content are seldomly connected via the applied technologies. Instead, they are separated by platforms, authoring tools and used core technologies, programming languages. Furthermore, it is not possible to simply grab an educational website project and to adapt its content for another audience. Additionally, it seems to be nearly impossible for people without a technical background to simply set up a small course. Thus, they stuck with Word, PowerPoint, and PDF. Since they provide a simple continuation of the static formats people have used before the computer era, if I want to publish content for the computer, I want my audience to dive in, experiment, simulate, play with the content, but not only read. Imagine a world where everyone would have the same access to high-quality educational content for free. Imagine all kind of school books. Technical or scientific literature could become open course projects and more interactive. With collaborating teachers and students. Everything that is required is a simple text editor and a web browser. As already mentioned, all you need to work with Lea script is and text editor. But it can be useful to apply one of the following tools. At least we apply them to see the result of a change within the course document immediately. You will see that the development of online courses will speed up, especially if there is no need for memorizing complex point-and-click sequences. There are currently two plugins for the Atom Editor available, which are intended to ease and simplify the development of online courses with Lea Script. If you are used to another editor, you can also start a Lea Script development server locally. It works like the plugin for Atom and updates your course within your browser on every save. But this can also be used to monitor multiple projects. And you can also use it for testing purposes as if you would deploy your projects. If you prefer to work with multiple authors simultaneously, then you should give Kodi Li a try. It is a fork of the collaborative editor Kodi MD, Hedgehog. But instead of a markdown preview, you will have a Lea script preview, and you can immediately publish your courses. The easiest way of importing a Lea script into another website or learning management system, LMS, 
such as Moodle, Ilias, or Opal, is via importing an external website or, if possible, via an iframe. However, there might be cases where you want to store the progress within the LMS. We therefore have developed an experimental exporter, which allows to bundle your entire project as an SCORM compliant zip file that can be imported into most common LMS. Other formats than SCORM can be added to. Simply write us a mail or create an issue if you require another one. If you want to refer to your own courses or to foreign ones on your personal website or blog, you can make use of our preview web component. This creates preview cards, which are updated at client side, so that there is no need to manually update all information whenever there is a change in their course. Simply add there. Script tag is depicted in the code snippet and linked to your courses via the tag preview LIA. The script was originally developed for supporting programming courses for embedded systems. You can see an example of the previous eLab Remote Laboratory installation. Now it is the opposite. Our main focus lays in the development of the markup language, but parts of the old systems can still be used especially if you want to teach programming in Java, C, C++, C Sharp, Mono, Go and Python. The Code Runner is an open source project that enables remote compiling and execution of code. We apply it to teach procedural and object-oriented programming. You can either host your own server or use our free Heroku app. By now you should have a basic idea of what you can do with Lear Script but probably not how you can publish your courses. The best way is actually to use GitHub. This way, no prior versions of your course get lost and you give others. You can even invite them the opportunity to contribute to your project. No further hosting is required. No further compilation step. The JavaScript interpreter of Lear script is everything else directly within the browser at client side. As you can see from the example, it is also possible to refer to a specific slide. You only have to add a hash with the number of the slide, or you can add the name of the specific slide as well. The same way you can also refer to courses that you have put into your Dropbox, own cloud, next cloud, or if you have access to some old-fashioned web space then you can also store all of your files there. You only have to make them publicly available and to refer to the raw or in other words, the text document. All other sources are loaded relative to this URL. However, we have no idea who is using Lear script elsewhere, so it might be hard to find some resources online. From time to time we translate open books into Lear script and make them more interactive. You can see some of our the experiments at the following URL and use them as a source of Inspiration. If you tried out Code Runner, you will have probably noticed that you can reuse functionality from different courses simply by using the keyword import within the main definition of your Lear script document. Such a functionality is defined with the help of macros. We will dive deeper into this feature at the end of this document. But if you are interested, you can inspect some of our templates which shall provide self-explaining courses of how to embed and use the implemented macros. Well, that's all for today. See you.